Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know, Deloitte NLA preparation series is going on on this channel. Okay, regularly we are making new new videos regarding different different sections. We are covering the questions. Okay, in this particular video, I will be discussing the coding question. And in previously, I have uploaded videos regarding coding questions, networking questions, crowd questions. So all those videos are already present on this channel. So make sure that if you have not watched those videos, it is present inside this playlist. Make sure to watch all these videos after this video, okay? Because the questions and the pattern you will be getting to know, and it is possible that it might repeat. So now let's not waste the time and quickly start the video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel, and make sure to join the Telegram group that is given in the description box. So now let's move towards the coding question. Okay, so guys, on our top mid page of Code Bashers, we have Deloitte NLA preparation material also. So if you do not know from where you should prepare for your exam, then this preparation material can be helpful for you. If you will open this material, you will find that it, there are total seven PDFs that you will be getting inside this preparation material. All these PDFs are corresponding to different different sections that will be coming in your exam. So the questions in these PDFs, in these respective PDFs, are from the previous year Deloitte exams only. So if you will open any of these PDFs, let me just show you the sample. Let's suppose this active PDF you open. So you will see that we have proper question, options, answer and explanation for it. Okay. Similarly for the coding also, we have question and code. Similarly for the cloud PDFs also, we have question, options and answers plus explanation also. So if you do not know from where to prepare, okay, this material can be very much beneficial for you. Okay. It is at a very nominal price of Rs. 99 and a coupon code of 15% is also available on this channel. The, all the description, all the information regarding this you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment and also if you want preparation material for different different companies also so we are providing a package also in which we are providing infosys capgemini accenture tcs nqt deloitte nla preparation material in that package this package will be beneficial for you and 15 percent coupon code is applicable on this package also so all the relevant details i will put in the description box if you want to prepare for any of these companies do check them out and the coupon code is valid for first 50 people only so guys i have told you already that first i will be discussing the question then the approach of this question and then i will be discussing the coding part of this question okay so let's just read the question first okay so question here is alex is a very good spy and he always wants to hide his contacts to encrypt the original phone number he takes all the odd position numbers and places them in starting positions and it takes even position numbers to end position to the encrypted phone numbers. Okay. So if you have not understood this particular thing, let's just see. Help Alex to prepare transformed phone numbers by accepting N phone numbers. Okay. So let's just simplify this question. But this question is saying Alex has so many phone numbers. See. Uh, see with the help of example. He has two phone numbers. Okay. So what he will do? He will try to encrypt those phone numbers because he always wants to hide his contacts so how he will hide it okay so here is the here is the uh, sequence given he takes all the odd position numbers and places them in the starting position okay all the odd position numbers what are odd position numbers odd position numbers are okay starting from this uh, this is at first okay odd position numbers are one at 3, 5, <coughs> 7 and 9. So these are odd position numbers. Okay. What are even position number? Even position number are 2, 4, 6, 8 <coughs> and 0 also. Okay. And 10th also sorry. So all those numbers that are present on these locations are the odd position numbers and all those numbers which are present at these locations are the even position numbers. So what he does is he takes all the odd position numbers and he places in the starting of the uh, string. He, he Then he takes all the even position numbers and he places uh, at the end of the string. So now we will just modify this contacts into an encrypted form. Okay. So what we'll do, we will first take all the odd position numbers that is uh, the numbers which are present on the first third <laughs> fifth seventh and ninth so on first two is present uh, then on third fourth is present then six then eight and then nine so one four six eight nine he will take and he will place it in the sorry two four six eight nine he will take and he will place it in the starting of the string 
so here you can see that two four six eight nine have been placed in the starting of the string okay i hope you have got this next he will take all the even position number that is the numbers that are placed at these positions two four six eight ten so he will take this number one three <coughs> five seven zero he will take these five numbers and he will place at the end of the string so one three five seven zero one three five seven zero he has placed at the end of the string so here are the first odd position numbers then there are the even position numbers and here is our full number that is our encrypted string that that has been formed okay so similarly we will do on this particular uh, this particular number also okay so first he will take odd position uh, odd position number that is this one three five seven nine he will take these odd position numbers and he will place them in the starting of the string so one three five seven nine have been placed in the starting of the string then he will take the even position number and he will place at the end of the string that is two four six eight zero he will take two four six eight zero and he will place at the end of the number so this is our entire number that has been formed so these two numbers are our encrypted number form and these are our outputs okay so two inputs were there therefore two outputs are there so i hope now the question is clear to you and you can see that the approach is also very clear to you okay if now if till now the approach is not clear to you let's just quickly move towards the coding part because by seeing the code the approach will be definitely clear to you okay so i hope now till now the question is clear to you and guys if you have not liked the video till now please like it if you have not subscribed to the channel till now please subscribe it and do share the channel among your friends so now let's just okay so guys see uh, what we have done we have taken two contacts i have told you that uh, <coughs> see here two was the number okay so here it is int n that is how many contacts you have to take then we have an array of strings that is the in which every uh, every element will be a contact detail only of 10 digit okay so we have uh, used this loop to take inputs of these numbers okay and times we have taken the input of the number now what we have to do we have to encrypt these numbers I have, I have told you how we have to encrypt it we have to take all the odd positioned numbers and uh, uh, append them to the starting of the string and we have then we have to take the all the even position numbers and then we have to append at the end of the string okay I hope till now it was clear to you okay so let's just code it so what we'll do for every number for every number in our array i is equal to 0 i less than n that is a r of i uh, no it will be i less than n i plus plus for every number in the array we have to perform this encryption okay we have to print <laughs> print a new contact encrypted contact so let's just uh, take a new string string answer initially it is empty okay now okay now what we have we uh, again we are taking another input that is current number c num we are taking okay current number there that will be error of i okay so now we have our current number and now we have to convert this current number into our encrypted number that is our answer so how we will be doing it we will be iterating over our current number so for in j is equal to 0 j less than what c num dot length right okay and j plus plus for the first time what we are doing we were we will be taking all the odd position numbers all the odd position numbers and we will be appending in the starting of the string now see the major difference is that we have to take the odd position number so here the position if the position of a number is one it is the starting element so odd position number means since the position is one but will be the index index will be zero here the position of two is one but what is the index of two it is zero so odd position means odd position numbers mean that is even indexed so first of all what we, we will be doing we will be taking all the even index number so starting from j equal to 0 since 0 is an even index we will be doing j plus equivalent to 2 we will not be doing j plus plus that is we will not be treating over all the numbers inside these cnum but we will, will be only iterating over the even indexed numbers first because we have to append even index numbers first and then the odd index numbers okay i hope now this uh, this thing is clear to you what you will do will simply to answer plus is equal to cnum cnum of j we will do like this okay so here after this loop is over <coughs> after this loop is over we have appended all the uh, we have appended all the odd position numbers in the starting of the string in the starting of the answer string okay 
so odd position number means even index number okay even index number using this for loop we have done now we have to place all the even position number at the back of the string all the pos uh, all the even position number at the back of the string but again uh, even position means that is the what is the uh, uh, what is the position of one here position of one <laughs> here is two but that is the index of one here index of one here is one only so even position means we will even position means <laughs> that we have to take odd indexes we have to take odd indexes so again we will starting j equal to one odd indexes j less than c num dot length okay and again j plus equal to two so we have to take all the odd indexes now so simple answer plus is equal to c num of j we are doing here okay so by this we have taken all the even index uh, all the odd position numbers by this loop we have taken all the even position numbers and after this loop is over we will simply see out c num and this we have to do for <coughs> uh, this we have to do for all the numbers inside this loop all the numbers inside this loop we have to do so i hope now this code is clear to you let's just run this code okay let's just take only one number here one one okay let's just take two only let's just take our inputs only uh what is this just a second let me remove this okay so it is uh, 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 uh. okay so let's just run it oh we need to log in let's just log in first okay, so i have logged in let's just run it now <coughs> so we will compare our output with the expected output so let's just compare it 2 1 4 3 6 let's just copy paste there only let for comparison purpose okay uh, 2 1 4 okay something is wrong the answer is not coming as correct let me see why okay so guys i have found the error we are printing here cnum only that is current number only but we have to print our answer because we are appending the new numbers into our answer only so now let's just see what the answer is coming uh, then we will compare uh, okay it is taking little bit time so let me just copy paste now from this end to this end let's just see what will be the output so 24689135370 okay first one is correct 13579246800 so yes, second one is also correct so i hope now the code was also clear to you it will pass it will be passing all the test cases and it was the actual coding question that was asked in deloitte exam on 30th december 2022 and guys more such videos will be coming in future because a lot of exams are still going on they are in coming week okay and in uh, january the interviews will be starting so please make sure that you are subscribing this channel because a lot of interview experiences and interview related material will be uh, regarding Deloitte will be shared on this channel so do hit that like button subscribe button and share this video among your friends and thank you for watching this video